Bo.com is very interesting. It comes with four models, including ChatGPT, Sage Cloud, and Dragonfly. You can chat with it or select from its pre-selected. For example, let's go Coding Help. There you go. And it gives you suggestions. Same with Cloud and ChatGPT. How about writing help? Poe is, was created by the creators of Quora. So it's very really cool. Check it out. Play.ht is AI powered text to voice generator. Probably the best one I've seen. Success isn't about how much money you make. <laughs> See, An onboarding process is really used cool. to help new employees uh, adjust to the social. And I found a link to their CEO, I believe. Anyway, they introduced a new the sounds of the silence that arouse. For my generated. mind to run around, put my ear up to the ground. So Play.ht is your place for AI powered text to voice generation. Promptbase.com allows you, it's a, it's a prompt marketplace. You can find your prompts and you can sell your prompts for DALI, GPT-3, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and ChatGPT. It's a marketplace. Langchainer's blog is a cool place. It has a lot of tutorials, both for Python and TypeScript, mostly TypeScript, I believe. Anyway, check it out. So Dust.tt is a place where they claim you can make and deploy large language model apps. They have a documentation, you can sign in with GitHub. Build powerful workflows on top of LLMs. Chained LLM apps, multiple inputs, model choice, version history, caching, apps that do things, easy deployment, semantic search. This is dust.tt. All the links will be available in the description, also to my Patreon supporters. So promptable.ai is the ultimate workplace for prompt engineering. Streamline your GPT-3 prompt engineering workflow with Promptable's advanced tools and features. Organize your prompts, track changes, evaluate prompts, deploy your prompts. Seems like a cool place. Another prompt engineering site called Plump PromptLayer.com, the first platform built for prompt engineers. Maintain a log of your prompts and open AI API requests, track, debug, and replay old completions. Check them out. I usually make videos about AI-related videos, AI-assisted coding, link chain, Llama index, GPT index, open AI embeddings, and many. Take a look at my channel if you like the content. I also have a Patreon where I provide code examples. There is currently over 25 code examples for my videos. Check my Patreon as well. Link will be in the description. OpenAI released chat completions with ChatGPT API powered by GPT 3.5 Turbo. Take a look at that. Also, they have announced the API endpoint for Whisper speech to text. This is a pretty powerful. I'm glad they introduced an API. It's very easy to use. The link will be links are in the description. Human Loop claims to make GPT-3 faster, cheaper, more effective. Find the prompts users love and fine-tune custom models for higher performance at lower costs. Take a look at them. Our next link is actually a paper, High Resolution Image Reconstruction with Latent Diffusion Models from Brain Activity. Now, this is pretty awesome. Reconstructing visual experiences from brain activity, human brain activity with stable diffusion. These were the images that were presented to the subjects of this case study and the reconstruction images were using stable diffusion. They're really mind-blowing stuff. And there's FileChat.io. FileChat is the perfect tool to explore documents using artificial intelligence. So they've deployed this app to embed and search over documents and whatever else. Next up is create.t3.gg, the best way to start a full stack to hype safe Next.js app. If you're into JavaScript and you want to develop your app using these technologies, this seems interesting. There is also tryleap.ai, add AI features to your app in minutes, generate images, edit them, fine tune models, retrieve text context, and more with best in class APIs and SDKs. Cutting edge features such as generate images, fine tune a model, edit images, retrieve context, integrate with anything. The last two links is a prompt engineering guide on GitHub. It seems like a pretty cool place where you can find some useful information. And lastly, well, that one from last is the awesome link chain. Again, another cool place of a lot of knowledge and information gathered together. 
And finally, LangChain introduced a new memory type. In sequential chains, they say simple memory. They explain it as sometimes you may want to pass along some context to use in each step of the chain or in a later part of the chain. But maintaining and chaining together, the input and output variables can quickly get messy. Using simple memory is a convenient way to manage this and clean up your chains. I actually have a video about explaining memory types, this one. Take a look at that. I haven't mentioned this latest one because this is a new development. So anyway, I hope to I hope you enjoy this. I hope to find some cool links and share them with you. And take care. See you in the next one.